hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today is your long-awaited favorite video a updated tooth gym video and i have finally found the perfect kit for you guys it will be so much easier for you guys to just purchase the kit before you guys would click on links and they wouldn't work or the products would be out of stock because you guys would sell them out so fast so i'm so glad that I am able to find this kit for you guys. This is an ortho bonding kit and it's perfect for two gyms. Let's get into the kit. So it comes with etch, which is the blue one. It comes with composite, which is this in the black tube. Um, this is a packable composite. The last video I showed you guys a flowable composite and I didn't like how that worked with the tube gems. So I would highly recommend you guys using this composite. And then right now I'm showing you guys the bonding agent. And yes, you need all three of these products. A lot of you guys were commenting and asking if you needed to purchase all three. And yes, if you want the tube gems to stay as long as possible, you need to use all three products. In this video, I decided to do it at home for a more realistic way for you guys because I know in the last video I did it in a dental office and you guys don't have all of the products that I had in a dental office. So I decided to do it at home to make it more realistic and so that you guys will know and be able to use all of these products at home. So let's get into the video. So first things first is i'm going to ask my patient where she wants the tooth gym and how she wants it placed I'm going to place a cotton roll so that we can keep her lip up and out of the way and these will be linked down below as well next we're going to apply our etchant this is the first step um, this kind of like opens the pores as you would say to make sure that all the adhesives attach to her tooth placing this you want to be very 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 careful this can burn the skin and it will not be good for a patient so make sure you guys are very careful make sure you guys have that cotton roll in the lips so that you don't burn anybody you don't need to place this all over the tooth you just need a tiny dot wherever you're placing the tooth gem and if I was in a professional setting like I was in the last video, I would spray it with water and dry it with air. But since I'm not, I'm just going to use a cotton roll, wet it as you guys can see, and then just wipe it off. It's very important that you wet the cotton roll to wipe it off. And it's very important that after you do that to get a dry cotton roll and wipe it off so that the area is dry. You don't want any moisture the moisture would just, it, the tube gym would just fall off in the next day. Like you don't want any, any moisture. Number one key is to make sure that there is no moisture. Next step is the bonding agent. This is what it looks like. And I'm just going to put it on that little brush. You just need a tiny dot. You don't need to put this all over the tube. You just need to put it in the area where you're going to place your tube gym. As you can see, I just have a little bit and I'm just going to paint it on there. Kind of just dab it. Next, we're going to use the curing light. This will be linked down below as well. And we, this is a very important step. You have to cure the bond. So make sure you guys uh, click the link down below to purchase a light. And we're going to let this sit for 15 seconds. In this entire process, there needs to be no moisture or this will not work. So now we're going to take the composite and this is the composite here. It's in a paste form. The last one I used was in a liquid form. I think this works a little bit better than that one. So definitely give this a try if you had problems before. And with this, you only need a tiny amount, just the tiniest size that covers the bottom of your tooth gem. So I'm just going to scrape a little bit and I'm going to apply it to her tooth. 
you're going to apply this paste exactly where you want your tube gem to go this will not harden until you put the cure and light to it so you have plenty of time to put the tube gem on there before you put the light to it so after you put the light to it then it's on there not permanently but it's just on there temporarily um, until it falls off so this is the gem that i'm going to be using this is the size that my patient picked out i only recommend you guys to use Swarovski crystals these are not these are from amazon just for video purposes i'm gonna take some tweezers like i said i'm trying to make this realistic so i'm just using tweezers and then i'm just gonna push it down with the back of it don't mind my tweezers this isn't a patient so so you're gonna push it down make sure it's in the right spot you want it to be all the way down so you kind of want to like look from every angle and make sure that it's on the tooth and not just sitting on the composite if you guys are looking for real Swarovski crystals or if you guys are just looking for tooth gems i am starting a business up very very soon so i do have a vendor so if you guys are interested in the vendor just dm me on instagram it will be a small fee but these are the best of the best these only use Swarovski crystals or real gold like 14k so once that I know that it's in the correct spot and it's in the right placement and it's all the way down on the tooth, I'm just going to cure it with the light and that's pretty much it. You want to cure it for 15 seconds again and it will be on there. So this is me just touching it, pushing on it, making sure that it's not going anywhere, make, just letting you guys know that it's on there. These tooth gems last three to six months. That's what it looks like. And you can just play around with these. I'm sure you guys know that. And I just love tooth gems. They're so pretty, so cute. A lot of you guys were asking how do you take them off. And to be honest, I did find a tool on Amazon. I'll link it down below. But um, this is why I don't recommend you guys not doing it in a professional setting. Because you would really need a drill to take it off so if you don't have a drill um, you probably shouldn't be using a drill so i would recommend you guys to um, refer your patients to a dental office to be honest but there is a tool in my amazon down below that you guys can try out i haven't tried it so um yeah good luck with that but that is the end of this video um i do want to put out a disclaimer that i don't recommend you guys to do this at home or not in a professional setting i'm not telling you guys to not do this in a professional setting but i know a lot of you guys do do this and you guys have your businesses um but yeah um do it at your own risk and if you guys have any questions for me you can leave them down below or you can dm me on instagram i will be starting my tooth gym business very very soon so stay tuned for that but i'll see you guys in the next video